37 year old Ronal Maisnam, who lived at Mandop Lekai at Churachanpur district headquarters till May 3rd this year, is heartbroken when he sees two photos. One, his house burnt, and the other, the flattened plot of land after his house was completely demolished. Talking to the Wari Sinbul, Ronal's depressed young friend Amarjit Maibam, also from the Kuki Chin Mizo dominated district, simply utters with a heavy hurt. All Maite houses at Kuga Tampak, numbering nearly 1,000, including theirs, were set ablaze, looted, and destroyed by Kuki miscreants. And now their native village wears the look of a war devastated zone. Ronald and Amazit are among around 15,000 old Maites whose house in 11 different Maite villages in Churachanpur were destroyed in the unprecedented ethnic violence unfolded in Manipur on May 3rd. They are currently taking refuge at different relief camps in the valley districts. What fuels more urged to the duo is the demolitions of numerous houses belonging to the Maites after they left their Churachanpur homesteads by miscreants in front of the police. After they left Churachanpur owing to the violence, numerous Maite houses, including theirs, have been flattened in a systematic manner by using heavy machineries by miscreants as if they are the rightful owners of the Maite plots. An emotional Ronald told the Wari Sinbul. The police, who are well aware of those unlawful acts, have not taken any actions against the culprits, he lamented. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, who has been informed about this illegal activities, has assured action against the perpetrators. Sadly, there has been no report of arrest of the culprits to death, compounding the angst to the hapless owners. Meanwhile, a highly reliable state official told Wari Sinbul that Churachanpur SP has already taken up a suo motu on the matters of leveling the Maitai localities in the Churachanpur by the miscreants. The official asserted that all those found guilty during investigation would be punished as per law. He further informed that internally displaced persons or other victims of the conflict who have lost important documents or records like patas of land holdings, educational certificates and even financial records need not worry as these legal documents would be reissued by them by the concerned district magistrates where they are currently taking refuse. All they gave to do is file complaints with the concerned district magistrate of the district. All the district magistrates have been accordingly instructed to do the needful. The top bureaucrat said, Unlike Jurachanpur, none of the cookie houses and the properties that were destructed in the valley districts during the class have not been bulldozed and flattened, and the structures are heavily guarded by the police and the security forces round the globe. Upon this, we strongly feel that there are two separate laws, one in the valley and the other in the hills, he lamented. In the wake of the rising dominance of the Kuki Zo militants in Mujra Chanpur, the Maites, who had strong social fabric bindings with all communities in the district, gradually loosened from the cycle, circle and began facing uneasiness in the society. The Maites also faced difficulties in getting their basic fundamental rights in Mujra Chanpur. Because of various factors, including the inconsequential outlook towards them, Many Maite people had a hard time to get domicile certificate and even patta or zaman bandi for their own land from the concerned office in Churachanpur. Among the Maites, those who had connections with influential persons got such doshias and others were left in the lurch. Lamented Ronald, there was a time when a large number of Maites living at Kumuzambalekai who had joined hands together and formed a Bodhi Christian. Kumuzamba Patadar Association only to pursue the, to the district officials to get their land patas. Because of the unconductive atmosphere, some Maites had left their native villages and shifted to the other valley districts, he recalled. Ronald, who got his BE Electronics and Communications degree from Manipur Institute of Technology, MIT, is one of the displaced Maites who raised the popular demand to the government to take stringent legal actions against those miscreants who flattened their house. The government should also take necessary measures to ensure their return to their native homes and resettle there, he said. Victims of the 